Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time, I'm going to show off some of my books from my last haul while I was in Virginia. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Um, so this past week, I ended up... Um, finishing up my uh, contract in Virginia so one of the last two days I had there just like the cleaning up and organizing packing before I left um, I had a little bit of free time in the afternoon and ended up going to um, well just exploring in the area you know to see if there was any other comic shops because in the Charlottesville area there was only that one shop in town uh, there were some antique shops and stuff like that but it was mainly like furniture shops nothing really comic related so I had to really explore a little bit further out and um, ended up finding a comic shop in, I believe it was called Harrisburg. Um, and uh, this shop was called The Secret Lair. And really cool shop. Um, I, I should have recorded some footage inside. I just, you know, was kind of on a time crunch um, just because I was trying to go to see what was out there. And uh, really cool shop. The, sh the owner was really nice. Um, and they ended up giving me some tips after, too, to see what was in the area for other, like, shops, if I was willing to drive a little bit, or antique malls and so forth. So I'll end up showing off what I picked up there. And then I um, ended up going to an antique mall after, and I picked up a few more books. So um, we'll start off. I picked up three books there. Um, first book was, I've never seen this book before. It was definitely a 90s book. Um, I believe there was, uh, yeah, there was a TV show based off of this. It kind of gave me like, um, uh, what do you call it, Toxic Avenger vibes to it. But this is uh, Toxic Crusaders number one. And uh, you can see here in the top corner, as seen on TV, there was a, a TV cartoon show apparently in the 90s. I've never heard of it. Um, <laughs> I might have to check it out one day to see uh, what that's about. But this came out in, I believe, 92. Um, it is a new stand, so I guess it's a little bit more desirable. I don't know. It was the only copy that they had there. I believe they had issue number three as well, but I, I just gonna, I usually stick to, to number ones for the most part. Um, and it's a bunch of first appearances. So uh, with the team appearance, you got the first appearance of uh, Toxie, and they kind of like list it, notated here on the side. No Zone, uh, Major Disaster, Headbanger, Junkyard. And uh, I'm assuming it's these characters here on the front. So it's a neat little cover. And um, you know, these had price stickers on it. And he ended up giving me a little discount. I think it was like 10, 15% discount afterwards. So this was at 12 bucks, which I think is probably right around FMB. And um, weird enough, you know, that, uh, I don't know if you guys follow Key Collector. That afternoon, it was because I went on a, a Wednesday. They do that weird um, Wednesday weekly like his picks or whatever, and oddly enough, that book showed up on there. It was kind of really strange um, for that to happen. Um, it was it was almost gave me that feeling that like it was listening to me when I was out there, like just shopping, which was really really strange. Almost like when you're like uh, using your phone and your apps, and then uh, you're playing around, and you have like Amazon. And you're talking to uh, what's her name? Um, I don't know. I, I call her Siri, but it's not Siri. Well, you know. I'm, Alexa, Alexa, that's right. And they're always listening to your phone. I almost had that kind of vibe when, when I saw this book show up on there. Um, so that was strange. Um, next book, I've had this book before in the past. I ended up picking this book up at a flea market, I think maybe two years ago at the uh, Grafton Flea Market for a dollar. And uh, my buddy Leo from Black Swamp Comics was like, oh, you know, I was always looking for one of these books. And it ended up AOKing it to him. But I ended up finding one at the shop. It was just sitting on the top of one of the racks there, and uh, this one was listed for 15 bucks. And I was like, whenever I see this book, which I never see the book, I always try to pick it up, even if it's a decent price. Uh, but this was listed for 15, and this is Carnage Mind Bomb Mission Number One. Love this cover. Um, just really cool foily cover with all the skulls on there. Carnage looks pretty sick. Um, this one's not like an air mint. It had, he pointed it out too. It had some like imperfections here in the top right. And I was like, that's fine with me. I don't care. Um, you know, I wanted to get another one when I, when I had a chance. And uh, it does, they actually notated it low print run. It, it is a low print run. I know for sure. I don't know what the print run was. But like I said, I never find this book in the wild. 
and this is the uh, second time I've seen it, and I'm glad to have it back in the PC. So, really cool. And then the last book, this was obviously uh, more of a spec play, because um, I know that DC is going to be having um, the uh, story from this this um, series adapted for the movie. And uh, this is Superman All-Star issue number one. And this one was listed at 12 bucks. Um, I've never seen this cover. Whenever I see the uh, this book, it's always the cover A. I didn't know that they had incentives for this um, particular issue. And this is actually uh, Neil Adams' cover. So that's really cool. And um, they notated Neil Adams' variant. It's a 1 in 10. And this was listed for 12 bucks. I was like, sweet, I'll take this. This is going to be a little spec play, future play. Um, it's not, I don't think this is a 9.8. It's probably like a 9.4 contender. But um, pretty cool. I was glad to see that. Definitely picked it up. So um, like I said, afterwards, he ended up tipping me on some um, shops, uh, like comic shops, antique shops, antique malls within the area. Probably like within, at most, an hour and a half, two hour drive. I didn't go anywhere near that. I basically just uh, went from Harrisburg. I looped back down and then I uh, head back to Charlottesville. But there was one antique mall that he was like, Look, go check that out. Um, definitely recommend it. It's huge. It had, um, I think, well over 50 vendors he was saying. And there was a couple of comics there. So uh, I checked it out. And um, he said there was another comic shop like right across the street. But the shop was um, closed. It was like Dave's Comics cars and collectibles or something like that which is too bad i wanted to check that out but they didn't have they it was closed for whatever reason so i did go to the um antique mall and um spent like maybe 20 30 minutes there just to go through stuff because it, it was huge and i found a few books so these were fairly cheap um i believe they were either like one or two dollars each and uh, some of them have uh, key significance to them but um I remember when uh, the Young Avengers series was really hot, so uh, they had a few there, and some of these are like, you know, I call them like dead spec, because um, the spec has already panned out, but there's potential for them to come back in uh, future storylines and future shows if uh, Disney Plus, you know, continues with them. Um, so I picked up some Young Avengers, this was the first one I got, Young Avengers issue number 12. And uh, this is when um, Tommy becomes Speed. So a little minor key. But for a dollar, you can't really go wrong. It's less than cover price. Um, next book I got, Young Avengers, issue number 10. This one was a little bit more valuable, especially when the, um, the Hawkeye show came out back in the um, holidays. And uh, this one was the first Tommy Shepard is Speed. Right? Did I just say that again? Yeah. This is the first Tommy Shepard. I guess the issue 12 is when he becomes speed. Okay. I was like, alright, cool. I wrote a little notation sometimes in the back. Um, they had a couple more uh, Young Avengers. So this was uh, Young Avengers Presents issue number 3. I don't believe there's any significance, but it's just a cool cover. It shows... Um, Wiccan and Speed on there. Yeah. And you got the uh, Scarlet Witch in the background. Nice cover. And then um, Young Avengers presents Hawkeye. This is issue number six. Six of six. So this was, uh, this this had a little bit of uh, heat as well. Not like huge. It was probably like a $20, $30 book when um, the show was out. Uh, this was when um, first appearance of uh, when Clint Barton meets Kate Bishop. So, like, the original and then the second Hawkeye. So, I was happy to get that for a buck. And then, um, this was a cool cover. This series, in general, is really hard to find in the wild. Um, great Greg Horn covers throughout the series. I believe he did the vast majority of the, uh, cover, of the cover A's. But this is uh, Marvel issue number two. I call this the uh, the video game cover. Really cool. Uh, nice to pick that up for a buck. And um, she's just holding a bunch of, a little bit of everything. 
pizza pizza, a six pack of beer, football, video game covers, etc. A little risque cover. And then the last one was um, Ultimate Marvel Team Up issue number five. And uh, it's a nice yellow cover. And the significance behind this is the uh, first Ultimate Nick Fury. Um, just kind of like an alternate reality Nick Fury. I know the um, this Ultimate uh, Team Ups is actually some pretty good reads too. I haven't read any of these, but um, this was written by uh, Brian Michael Bendis. Yep. So uh, yeah, part two of two of the uh, Spider-Man Iron Man storyline. So uh, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, it was my last haul, comic haul while I was out in Virginia. Um, now that I'm back, back, back up in New England, so uh, I get to do some more hunting again when I get some time. Um, so that's always exciting news. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, comment down below, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and until next time, watch the comics.